I still remember the day Daddy left. I was only three years old, but I can picture it clearly his old brown suitcase sitting by the front door, the look on Mama's face like someone had died. Be a good girl, Cindy, he said, patting me on the head, and then he was gone. Mama tried her best, working long hours as a waitress to support us, but she could never hide her sadness. At night, I would hear her crying in her room. With Daddy gone, we had to move out of our little house into a dingy apartment in a bad part of town. Mama started drinking, leaving me alone for hours while she was out at the bars. By the time I turned 20, Mama was married again to a man named Joseph. I guess she was lonely, but Joseph was no replacement for my father. He would leer at me when no one was looking, always finding excuses to brush up against me suggestively. Mama was either oblivious or didn't want to know the truth. So when Joseph suggested I join him on a trip to spend some quality time together, I agreed. As we drove out of town, I batted my eyelashes and asked him to take me somewhere exciting. Like Vegas? I said. That empty look came into his eyes, the one that made my skin crawl. Sure, baby, he said with a twisted grin. Vegas it is. We got married that night in some cheesy chapel, Joseph slobbering drunk. If Mama knew, she didn't let on when we got back. I guess she was relieved Joseph was my problem now. We left town that week, heading to California to start our new life. It was never much of a marriage. Joseph drank, cheated, hit me when he felt like it. After four years, I'd had enough. I packed my things and headed back home, back to Mama. But when I got there, our old apartment was empty, the windows boarded up. I asked a neighbor, and she shook her head sadly. Your mama passed last year, honey. Just gave up after the betrayal, I guess. I'm real sorry. I cried myself to sleep that night on the steps of my empty childhood home. My parents were gone, both broken by betrayals. Now I truly was alone.